Hey dolls! Okay, so today I have a first impression and um, today I'm going to be testing out a new hair straightener or flat iron. This one is the Bio Ionic 10 times. I'm so excited to try this. I actually got this in the mail a couple days ago and I have not yet used it because I wanted to do like a first impression tutorial type video. I got this little piece of paper with it that has the features and benefits and all that stuff. So it says vibrating plates smooth and style in under 10 minutes. So the vibrating plates that's kind of cool. Um, a rounded tip allows for versatile styling from roots to ends. Digital heat controller up to 450 degrees for all hair types. Um, soft touch handle with 9 foot swivel cord. That alone I thought was just crazy. Like there's a 9 foot cord attached to this. And like they say, it swivels, which is so amazing. It has a 5 year warranty. It says natural volcanic rock minerals infused into bio... Um, ionic tools emit negative ions to drive tiny water molecules deep into the hair. Hair becomes hydrated and conditioned on the inside and the outer cuticle layer lies flat and smooth. So I will post the link on where to get this and everything like that and also it did come with a heat protecting glove which is awesome. So yeah it says to turn it on you just press and hold the power button until the light turns on. And in order to turn the vibration on, you just press the power button one time and you press the plates together to engage the vibration, which I was kind of nervous about in the beginning because I thought that it was going to be like, like when it was just sitting there on the desk or wherever you have it, all like crazy and just going all different directions. But you have to actually like push the plates together in order to kind of initiate that. This is what it looks like. And we're just going to go ahead and test this puppy on out. So what I'm going to do is I always lay a towel down on my surface while I use hot tools because this prevents anything from getting burned. And yeah, this cord is crazy long, which is so cool. So it is plugged in. So it says press and hold the power button and it does have the directions directly on the flat iron so you don't have to worry about like keeping a piece of paper with you all the time it's kind of just right there just in case along the years you forget or something so press and hold the power button until the light comes on so it starts oh it tells you like how hot it gets holy cow okay it's already hot it's already at 270, 280. I'm going to turn this thing back off really quick and do a close up um, shot of this so you guys can really see like how this looks like what I'm looking at in a sense. Okay, so turning it on, this is where the LED or the light is going to pop up. Um, but press and hold this power button right here until that light comes on. And I don't know if you guys can see this. Hopefully it's not upside down, but it goes through the numbers as it's warming up. And I guess you basically wait until it stops. Like right now it's already at 280 and I can feel the heat just like radiating off of it. So it gets hot really, really, really quick. Again, I don't know if you guys can see the little dial. I really hope you can. But yeah, it says 280. So then you can use the little up down. So let's see if I want to go up. Oh yeah, it goes up by 20s. So there's 320. I'm going to put it up to just 300 because my hair is usually naturally straight. Okay, so I put it at 300 and I was going to like pull my hair down and brush through it and do my heat protectant and everything while that was heating up, but it literally takes like 10 seconds to heat up. So change of plans. So I here is my hair. I intentionally threw it up in a super messy bun because I wanted it to be as least straight as I possibly could have it be um, when doing this. And today for my heat protectant, I'm just using the Garnier Fructis. Uh, usually I've been using the It's a 10 one, but I am almost out of it and it was a free sample that I had gotten at Ulta. So I just get the drugstore Garnier stuff and it works pretty good for my hair 
you can see there's lots of these little flips because my hair was in that weird bun and that's what I wanted is so that I could give you guys like a true test of how it well it works rather than just like my naturally straight hair and with hot tools like this that have the heat control settings um, I very 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 much advise you guys um, to always start at kind of a lower temperature and then bump it up as you go if you need to. Always start lower and then you can increase the temperature um, if desired. You need to get to know your straightener and know how powerful it is because each hot tool is different. So I guess you can see my hair looks kind of like an anime character. I'm going to try it without the vibration first and we're going to see what happens. So I'm just going to take this little chunk right here. So you can see that this was the one that has the little um, like flip in it and I'm just going to take a chunk like so and I'm just going to take the straightener and glide through it and it pretty much almost got rid of all of it. I don't know if you guys can tell but I could probably bump this up a couple degrees. So I'll put it at 320. So now I'm going to engage the uh, the vibration mode. So it just says press the power button once and then, oh my gosh, can you guys hear this? It literally does. That is so cool. Okay, so now I've initiated the, uh, the vibration and I'm going to take one of these flips over here. So... I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's what my hair looks like before. And I'm just going to take this and just one pass pretty much. I could probably bump this up to 340. Um, I'm going to do a little, a couple more strands with the 320 degrees and then go from there. I'm just going to go ahead and start working on the rest of my hair. And if you do see um, steam coming off of my hair as this is passing through, that is not at all my hair being singed off. That is just it coming in contact with the moisture from the heat protectant. So don't get all freaked out that my hair is burning off because it is just coming in contact with that uh, moist spray. And again, my hair is naturally straight, so you're not going to see a huge dramatic difference with me personally. Um, but just to see if this works for people who already have straight hair too. Okay, I am going to bump this up one more to 340. My hair can usually withstand a lot of heat, so, but you don't want to do something that's too damaging either, so that's what you really got to be careful of. And usually, I will tell you guys this right now, usually when I straighten my hair, I have a like 10 or $20 Conair hair straightener that I have been using like the most lately and I've had it like a long time. And I will find that when I straighten my hair with it, my hair, regardless if I use a heat protectant, regardless if I, you know, have the, um, the uh, heat setting all the way down or whatever, I always get a slight burning smell on my hair. I'll get a whiff of my hair and it'll just kind of smell gross. And it's weird because like it's not necessarily burning my hair, but I just get that scent and I don't know if that's because of the plates or what, but with this one, I do not get that burning smell at all whatsoever. So that's amazing. And as you can already tell, how I straighten my hair is I part it in half and then pull all of my hair forward and then I will take a chunk, straighten it, and then throw it to the back so all of my finished hair is in the back like so. Okay, so there is one side compared to the other. There's this one done, this one's not done, and I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and work on the other side now. So there is my hair done on both sides. I pulled all of it to the front so you all can see. Um, I feel like it does look really sleek um, as for and it's also really shiny I'm looking at in in the mirror with my ring light and it looks really 
silky. I don't know if that's just the lighting or what, but it looks really silky. That could just be, be me imagining things, but I really like see, it looks healthier than when I do it with my other straightener. And I feel like I don't know I feel like this did a really really good job now as for it being faster I think that has a lot to do with bumping up the temperature I ended up bumping it up to I believe 360 and I feel like I probably could have went to 380 or 400 with it um, and it, the whole straightening process would have actually been quicker than it was so I believe that it meets most of all the claims that it states um at least it met them all for me as far as you know sh making it look shinier i don't know again that could just be my light but i feel like it looks shinier and it's awesome so i do want to do one test with the straightener is this is what i try to do with all of the flat irons that i get i like to take a strand of hair and I like to curl it with the flat iron and see if it curls. And then once it is curled, I like to use the flat iron and go back in and try to straighten out the curl. So we're going to see if this flat iron does that. So what I'm going to do is take a section of my hair. It's a pretty uh, smallish size because I don't know how much this can withstand just yet. And I am going to pull this away from my head and just carefully with it curved and it started to create a curl it's a little bit of a loose curl you can see so I'm gonna try to do that um, I'm gonna actually bump this up let's go to 400 and see what happens okay so bumping it up to 400 I got a little bit more of a curl as well as turning off the vibration so now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to just straighten that curl back out and see how easily that curled. I think 400 was a little bit too high for me. So probably between uh, like for my personal preference, 360 to 380. But yeah, overall, I actually really like this. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and you just press and hold the power button to turn it off. I feel like it did its job really well. Like I said before, I feel like my hair is a lot shinier and it feels softer than I do with my regular flat iron. Like I said, it's just a Con Air like 10 or $20 one from like Walmart or something that I've had for many years. Um, so I really do enjoy this. I like the effect of the vibrating plates. I'm not exactly sure if it makes too much of a difference. I'll have to play with it a little bit more and figure that out. But I really do like it and it is definitely going to replace the Con Air that I currently am using. I think the only con that I have with this is, you know what? I don't even know if I have a con with this. I don't see anything wrong with it. I love the swivel cord. Um, I love pretty much everything about it. It's got a nice sleek design, so it's really easy to grip. It's not like too fat around, so it's hard for me to hold because I do have a little bit smaller hands. And sometimes that's a struggle with me with hot tools. If they are a little bit bigger, um, it is harder for me to kind of grasp and hold on to while I am doing my hair and also I forgot to mention that this is a one inch flat iron for those of you who are curious um but yeah as you can see the overall design is like rounded at the top and it also has a curve to it when you are looking at it from the side it has kind of a nice little curve to it so you can really get in there and straighten your hair so please give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful or if you are considering checking this thing out for yourself. Thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think of the Bioionic 10 times flat iron in um, the comment section below. And I will leave all the links in the description box as to where to get this, um, if I have a coupon code, everything like that. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Alright, bye!